way you the way you can adjust the level of fuel in the bottom bowl is put an extra washer or a thinner washer under this and that raises raises the lower the lowers the fuel level. But to be honest with you, I never have found that to be a real problem. This jet, which is the, the idle jet, if you notice, has a tapered spot here. Okay. And so it doesn't take a wash under it. It's actually uh, kind of a pipe thread, and the, and the taper seals it off so you don't put a wash under it. This is the handiest little set of pliers I've ever washed. Oh, yeah. Okay, so then we go with our filter and there's the pin. So it goes like so. And that's held in place because of something on the edge of it rather than a yeah, it doesn't, pin or something. So it's just finger fit. loose in there and so that should stop the flow there. And we can test that actually. This goes in with a washer under it. That's the filter for the gas. And we can test it. See if you can cut off flow. Uh -huh. See a lot of flow to it. It's got to be. And so that's uh, when we got to choke. And when they say, when you got to adjust your float level, how are you? Is that something you would do at this point? Yeah. What okay. I do is, is put it in the test rig out here and okay. see where the where the level ended up. And then how do you actually raise it or lower it? By putting a, an additional washer under this. Oh, okay. If it's floating too high, then okay. But that's what you said, you almost never have issues with that. One of the places that the gurus talk about uh, car not idling right or whatever is because it's sucking air through that place right there. Okay. And so if this bearing in there is loose, this one's not. Okay. Then that that's of a concern. <clears throat> your your idle your idle fuel comes through that little hole right there. Okay. So you're sucking up through this tube and up through that hole. Okay. Is that a top side up and down or is it out? <coughs> I always find them with the number on that up. What you want to do on this <clears throat> is that 
pinch up those holes. Yeah. <coughs> Now you just line your holes up there. Yeah, the screws are going to help you on that. But. I've, got, <clears throat> I've got them lined up. And what I'm doing is putting pressure on that so that the, the inside of this surface is actually holding it as, as clo closed as it will go. I'm going to. I see throttle screws on the boat a little bit. What are you loosening up? A throttle screw. The idle speed. Uh -huh. So now what I've got is <clears throat> I've got that, that throttle plate touching all the way around. It's tapered on that and you want a good tight fit on that. This screw is regulates the amount of air that you get it idle. Okay. And so what you want to do with it is screw it all the way down and then back it out about two turns. <clears throat> and when we put it back on the car, what we're going to do is with it, with the timing, with it idling and with the timing retarded, I'm going to screw that down and you can hear a difference in the way it runs okay. until you can make a final adjustment. smooth it out. Yeah. You'll actually hear it sucking a little bit is what you'll hear. So that's as far as we can go on that. And this pin is ha held in. When you, when you put it on here, the pin is in here and so it can't move either way. So that's what holds the pin in place. Okay. see through these holes. This this is a well a well for gasoline is what it is. The main reason for taking it out is so you can blow any trash that's down in there. That's the one without the uh, little indentation in it? Yeah, it's got the small hole in it. And it goes into that location right there. And that's that really more than a jet. What it is is a metering, which I guess really what a jet does. A jet also helps fuel vaporize, but it's, it's, it's really a metering device. And you don't need to put oil or anything on these things because they got so much gasoline coming through them anyway. It wash it out. When I when I get through, I'll put I'll spray it with with uh, WD-40 just to keep it from rusting until it gets gas and stuff. Okay, now. This jet goes down on the inside, and it's best to put it in first because if you don't, you put this one in first from the bottom. Uh, that one interferes with your ability to tighten this one. Okay. Okay, they're right next to each other. Yeah, two holes in the bottom. I see that. Okay. One goes in from the top, one goes in from the bottom.
and you can tighten these to where they'll break off. But you need to be real careful. You're dealing with a little tiny brass. You're going to go to the underside of it to put the other one in. Yeah, this one goes this in. This is like a uh, 116. Nut driver. Nut driver. Uh, now that's uh, uh, bigger than a quarter, so it's 5 sixteenths. Okay. And this one goes in that hole. Definitely get a, uh, a nut driver before you do this. Okay, this 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 is a they call a drain plug. It covers covers that last jet we put in, but it's also a way of draining the car brand. So you want to make sure you got a gasket on it. If you find gas on this, it's not running out of the carburetor. The probability is it's leaking around the, the gasket the leak. Drain plug. So you tighten that. And then we'll go to the choke lever. If this one's a little bit loose as this one is, it doesn't really matter. I mean, okay. This is your airport anyway, so it's you know, the only time only time this closes is when you're choking it and that doesn't make any difference. So when you're choking it you're eliminating the air. It's causing it to go real rich on fuel. Actually, I've got a different one used on spark plug. One of the screws. This one too. No. This is a, that's a seat. Make, just make it a little prettier. Yeah. No upcharge. Without the dimple. Well, this is the one it is. With, with the dimple. Yeah. yeah. Fits in there. It has a large hole. 